Hi, it's David Gaughan in the Stained Glass Studio, and on this video, we are going to install or assemble the um, the hinges for our jewelry box. This is good instruction. You'll enjoy it, and it, so let's go. Let's get on to it. Okay, so now the next thing that this box needs to have done to it is have an, a hinge installed. But I wanted to show you the difference between the hinge that was put on this one. This is a seven inch box. And you'll notice that I've got a hinge here and I also have one eighth inch zinc. And I like this better. I think it's a much better construction than the way I did on this three inch box. On this three inch box we've got just the foil and you can see that already the foil is starting to tear loose and so it's just not a strong construction so what I thought I'd do is tear off this hinged piece And then we're going to show how to do a hinge on this box. So I'm just trying to clean up the, the foil here. I'm not trying to take off too much and I don't want to wreck the foil on any other part of the box than just this one edge. That's probably clean enough. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece of this eighth inch zinc bar um, and, and I'm just trying to find a nice flat edge. See this is kind of deformed here. So I'm just coming up and taking these dikes, these diagonal cutters. They're also known as lead nippers. We sell them on our website if you need some. These are nice and sharp. Now I line this up in such a way that it's going to be tight inside the box. And what this does for us is it gives us something stronger than just a copper foil edge. For the hinge to activate on. Now this is really close to the right size and I'm just going to take these nippers and clip a small angle place it in so it can fit. I think I can get it a little bit tighter there. Okay, now that looks like a nice solid edge because it is. Now, as now to solder that in place, first I want to get inside, get some nice flux going in it, push it in place, and now I bring my iron with a little bit. I guess I can just pick up a bead of this solder that I had already. You see what's happening here, I'm soldering to this edge, this edge, and the edge down below. And so we're getting kind of a triangle of strength. We want it to be flat on top. Let's see if I can turn it around this 
this way, I'll show you. Okay, so so now that that edge is prepared, uh, you'll notice that I it's slightly bowed, and I wanted it that way because you uh, if if it's bowed slightly, then it holds it's holding tighter to the glass edge, and uh, and and so there's more strength there. Now I just need to do the same thing on this top piece. Same technique. Now, if you need to spread this piece out a little. Take just one of your regular uh, fids and use the um, the spreader part. Push down inside. I don't need much, so I'm just spreading it just slightly. out yep. Yep. And I'll just cut an angle here there it goes fits in there nicely just tap it slightly I'm going to hold it well while I get some solder in there. Now I want to heat my iron up. I don't know if you noticed, but it melted just a little bit of the zinc when I hit it last time on the other box. So there we go. It's just about done. Now we're going to move on. Show you how to how these hinges work. How you how you build them up. Okay. Now this is kind of cool. This is a brass barrel hinge. You notice we've got two um, pieces of brass. One small, and it fits inside side the larger. They're both tubes. It's a tube hinge, brass tube hinge. I don't know. Um, and so they, they fit right together. So what we do first is we put them the two units together like this, like so, and we measure uh, how far we want our hinge to go on our box. So that's a that's a pretty good size hinge. Okay, then we take this piece out, set it aside, now we've got the outer tube. Now I've got a cut edge right here 
and it's a little bit rough. So I rub it on this piece of sandpaper. Then I take an X-Acto knife and just spin it inside to get rid of the little burr that was in there. Okay, now that's the start of our hinge. Now we, a regular hinge needs to have one side spin differently than the other. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the very two ends for our hinge and the middle part so one side will fit on this outside piece and this piece will, will fit on the, the bottom of the box and the long piece will fit on the top of the box. So we'll just go ahead. Uh, you may want to... Uh, you may want to use pliers to do that. Depends on how how um, sure you are with your skill at holding something next to a blade, because that will cut through your finger. And I know this because um, somebody who was cutting some parts one day did just that. They cut right through the middle of their finger up to the bone, and uh, it healed, but it was not a pleasant moment for for anyone involved. Okay, so we do the same thing. We sand the, the edges, and get rid of the burr. Okay, now we reassemble. So we take this small piece of the brass, put one end on, put the middle on, put the other end on. Okay, so now we're ready to go back and solder it. Okay, uh, now uh, here are two pieces, the, the top of the lid and the bottom of the lid. You notice that you can see the nice zinc strip that's going to be on the back. And this is a place you can really mess up. So you got to be really careful. First of all, if you leave any gap um, in between the, uh, the small bar and the two end pieces, those then, then the lid will be able to rattle, rattle back and forth. And I did that on a on a different box just the other day and I had to take the hinge off and and start over again the other thing you want to make sure you you do is simply solder to one side and not to both sides because if you solder on both sides the hinge doesn't work so I've got them the the hinge piece placed right here in the gap between the two pieces of zinc. And what I want to do is just put a little bit of flux on one side and notice that I don't have any space between the hinge parts. Now you really do want to be careful, so cool your soldering tip down. Okay. Okay. Now, just to check, okay, I moved, it, moved the lid apart, and it's still and it wasn't stuck together, so that means I was successful at that part. Now what I like to do is take a piece of paper and I tear just a corner of the, of the sheet of paper off and I place that in behind this 
this part of the hinge. See that? And that will protect me from accidentally soldering to this middle part. Okay, so now I can put some flux on here on this outside edge. I'm holding the two pieces together. Now you can see how it works, and it's quite sturdy. We don't have to worry about it ripping off the way we did before when it was just the copper foil. Now I can, now that it's spread open, there's a space, and I can go back in, and I can add a little bit more solder to these end pieces. And I can add a little more solder to the to the center. Let's see if I've got enough flux here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> got a little bit too hot. Okay, still works. All right, now we need to go to the last um, a step, and that is that when you have a lid on your um, jewelry box, you don't want it to go back too far. And I and I always feel that this this angle right here is the perfect angle, but you don't want it falling back because if a person opens the box and accidentally drops it. Then, then the lid can fall and, and either damage the hinge or shatter the glass. So we're kind of protecting ourselves from damage by, by applying a chain. Now this is some fine chain. I just picked it up from a, a, a craft store and I'm going to first attach it into this corner here and I do that by grabbing the the ring the split is down so that the split will go into the solder I'm going to add a little flux by the way I this box is already cleaned I kinda like to clean it first before I add the chain because the chain can kinda get in the way when you're when you're cleaning. Now I'm putting it down inside the corner and that'll be a nice um, strong spot for the chain. Okay now I pick it back up to the angle that I want it to be able to be held at which I think is about there and I'm going to clip away okay. this is one of those operations where you think you might want three hands instead of two but I don't know, that would probably throw you out of balance. It wouldn't work as well as you imagine. Okay, so we 
put some flux there. Now the important part here is that we keep the ring down below the edge of the box, otherwise the ring will impede the lid. I've got to turn it this way and keep it from closing. Let's see if I can a little bit of flux on here and get a dab of solder first. Okay. And then I get it down. Okay. So now this box is finished and you'll see when it when it goes to shut the chain falls down inside the box. Now the only thing that we haven't done to this box is add the little cork pieces. Um, let me just show you what what they look like. The little cork pieces here that we've got on the bottom of these jewelry trays are simply made from uh, little squares of cork like this that we get at our regular glass supplier. We take one of these little squares, cut it into four pieces. It's got kind of an adhesive back, although these are not as sticky as... So I'm going to have to spray some glue on these. And then you just um, apply them. And that just gives it a finished surface so it doesn't mar uh, a wood surface or something of that nature. That's it. I I think we're... Uh, we're done with how to do a box. Okay, well that was pretty fun, wasn't it? Um, let's see. Right. Uh, what have we done today? We've we've shown you how to make your jewelry box. And they look beautiful. Now the only example we don't have here is a box with a flat lid. Sometimes you want to make a flat lid. It takes you less time. There's less construction. Um, and the way you do the flat lid, which is different, you don't need the pattern, what you do is you take the box, you lay it upside down on the glass, trace around it, and that'll tell you what size of glass you want. Then, uh, and then just go ahead and, and foil it. Um, uh, now, you know, notice this trick that we have here with the zinc. Um, you'll, you may want to actually wrap the entire flat lid with zinc. Uh, and that'll give you a nice strong. Uh, that'll give you a strong point for the chain, and also give you a strong point for the hinge. You might want to experiment with that. There's also uh, brass U, U um, metal that you might try. Uh, I think I prefer the um, the zinc. I just like the silver color better. What mm -hmm. do you think? Yeah, I agree. And. Um, mm -hmm. um, and, and do then uh, experiment with different colors on the sides, on the lids. Now remember that you can get the patterns off of the, uh, the website, betterstainglass.com. What else is there? Um, you can also find the other videos in the series. Um, honestly, I think that when you, when you master building boxes, uh, first of all, you'll have a great um, time doing them. And um, the, the, the sky's the limit. I mean, you can a, a nice jewelry box can have a mirror in the bottom of it. You mm -hmm. know that. That'd be nice. And um, use your imagination. So yeah, yeah. thanks for being with us today. Yeah, and Jeannie's got a book that she's just about done with. I uh, just I'm, about. In fact, we may get it out on on our website before this video. I'm not sure. We're, she's We're she's finished all the all the windows. So, but I'm very excited. So everyone everyone kind of pull with me so we can get that done and you can read it. And I'm excited. Yeah. And uh, so now we invite you to also um, visit our website or visit Amazon. Even um, we prefer that you buy your videos and your books from from our website because um, it, it's more personal and we and then we can help you get the newsletter. And the newsletter doesn't cost anything. We furnish it to our clients for because we like to promote stained glass. But uh, uh, what was I going to say about that? Um, 
Oh, uh, then we need you to write reviews. You know, uh, write nice, favorable reviews saying, hey, these guys really know what they're talking Thanks about. Thanks for that. And we appreciate that. And we know it takes you a little extra time to do it, but it, it does help us. Um, you know, and, and it helps other people because then they'll look at it and say, okay, well, maybe this is a good video or it is a good uh, book. I think Jeannie's book is really going to be great. You'll like it. Hope so. And that's it. Okay. okay thanks. thanks. <laughs>